Hey friends, Alan Lee here with Honestly Handyman Services out of Sacramento, California. And today I wanted to talk specifically about uh, clients and customers. I don't think clients are talked about nearly enough um, in the handyman business. Um, I think a lot of times we tend to focus on the job at hand and uh, whether that is replacing a toilet, a light fixture, um, you know, a light switch, things like that. Uh, we tend to focus more on that than the client. Um, but really business is taking a product or service and offering it to a client. If we tend to only think about the product or the service and not really so much about the client, we're only thinking about 50% of the equation. Um, so it is so important to think about the client. I, Actually, I think the client makes up more than 50% of the equation. I mean, I would almost argue that it makes up probably 70% of the equation. I think the key to success, um, and this is something that my mentor has taught me, um, is that uh, the key to success is caring more about your client more than you do about your product or your service. Um, and if, if, you, if you care, if you learn more about your client, more than you do about your product or service, you will be unusually successful. It will just totally change the ball game because you're not totally just trying to overwhelm your client with all this, um, all this jargon of, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that, and this is why you do this, this is why you do this, and this is why it costs so much. Um, if you truly have an interest in your client, then they are going to give you however much money you ask for. Um, for instance, I'll tell a story. Um, I have quite a few clients that, that have become more than just uh, customers to me. They become friends. Um, and these people are super awesome to deal with. And, and really, the, the trademarks of them is uh, when I come to do work at their house, they end up working with me. Um, so they're, they're like, you know, they're, they're helping me out. They, you know, they hold the ladder if I need it. They, you know, go get me something if I need it. They talk to me throughout the whole process. And a lot of people, you know, they don't like this. Like, have you, you've probably heard the old adage, you know, like, you know, it's this much money if you have worked on it before. It's this much money if you talk to me. And it's this much money if you completely leave me alone. Um, <laughs> and that's not how my personality works. I love working with people and I love talking with people. I love engaging with people. So it really just comes naturally to me to really want to get to know my clients. Um, and these clients are so amazing that they'll give me whatever amount of money that I ask for because they know that I am being honest with them and truthful and upfront with them. And um, I think they really enjoy the whole process as well. I mean, it's not just, so say, say I go and install some can lights for someone. Um, you, you always have that wow factor when it's done. It's like, wow, look at these lights. These are amazing. Um, but it's not just that for these clients because they are getting the whole experience. They're getting to work with me, talk with me, engage with me. And these people that do this, they're wired more like me with their personality where they are interested in um, you know, talking to other people and learning uh, their opinions and ideas and things like that. So they, they also love engaging as I love engaging as well. So um, that would be my tip for you today is to uh, learn more about your client than you do your product or your service and you'll be unusually successful. Because when you focus on your clients, you really dig into who they are what their problem is and why they're calling you to fix that problem because really that's that's what it is it's we are fixing a problem that's what business does and um you could see the surface of the problem but you have to talk to the customers to find out what's deeper in that problem and so you could help solve it more like i had some crazy conversations with these clients that i tell you that work with me and talk with me and share their opinions and ideas with me um because we've gotten into you know how their their spouse that that they've been married to for 20 years passed away just recently um you know or they they had just retired from their job that they loved and they were in and they're, they're just like in a whole different life transition place where they're trying to figure stuff out too so it's so awesome when I really get to know these people and get to look into what their life looks like and and not only install can lights for them but hopefully help them out in a personal sense as well um, so you know offer them some kind of insight or and they often offer me so much insight and wisdom which that's what I'm really in it for is I really want to learn and never stop learning and these people help me do that um, so yeah just learn so much about your clients more than you do your product or your service and you will be unusually successful 
believe me. Um, so that is just one of my business tips for the day. Learn, learn, learn about your clients and learn what they need, learn what their problems are, learn why they called you. So anyways, thank you all so much for tuning in and I hope you guys have a great day.